far-left extremely rich person George Soros has given $18 billion to his Open Society Foundations to finance across the country revolts got ready for November 4, 2017. The uproars, being driven by gatherings, for example, Antifa and refuse fascism, incorporate plans to savagely assault cops, subjects and people on call utilizing fatal weapons as a component of a general intent to expel President Trump from the White House. ConservativeReview.com reports, Refuse Fascism positions itself as a major tent development from the wide range of perspectives that is paying special mind to the best advantages of America. Be that as it may, that is not really the case. Actually it is a fanatic outfit that looks to topple the rule that this nation was established upon. Its namesake is a definitive incongruity. Over the previous year, refuse fascism has shown itself to be a rightist gathering. The Antifa connected gathering has brought pride in closing down speakers from over the political range, frequently announcing anybody even the dab right of the far left as a neo Nazi who ought not, and can't, be heard. While very straightforward about its objectives, the association has taken a few measures to conceal its operational sponsorships. Its site uncovers no insights about the general population behind the coming November 4 arouses. Notwithstanding, while requesting gifts, the association requests that givers send cash to a similar office address as World Can't Wait. That New York City headquartered bunch is driven by Deborah Sweet, a self-depicted progressive socialist. What's more, Sweet isn't the main no-nonsense socialist that is a piece of the refuse fascism revitalizes. As indicated by Politico, a few coordinators share her perspectives and were pioneers in the Occupy Wall Street development. So where do the self-broadcasted progressives at World Can't Wait get their cash from? They get their money from the Alliance for Global Justice, AFGJ, a hostile to entrepreneur, against settler equip that was established by a gathering in charge of supporting socialist progressives in Nicaragua. As per NGO Monitor, AFGJ has upheld sentenced psychological militants partnered with gatherings, for example, Al-Qaeda, Hamas, and FARC. AFGJ additionally bolsters political detainees in the USA, showing a rundown on its site that incorporates infamous cop executioners and jihadi fear-based oppressors. Notwithstanding its help for fanatic causes, radical tycoon contributors keep on happily composed checks for the Alliance for Global Justice. As per the Capital Research Center, the George Soros-financed Open Society Foundations has given six-figure checks to the Marxist outfit. They've likewise gotten monstrous financing from the far-left Tides Foundation, another gathering Soros has been to a great degree liberal within years past. By one means or another, refuse fascism holds its expense-excluded status with the IRS. While John Koskinen, the sitting IRS chief, tried to forget Tea Party bunches from thought, he evidently has no issue giving assessment credits to a progressive gathering loaded with individuals who look for the rough topple of America. Try not to give the heritage media a chance to trick you. Most importantly refuse fascism is a front for comrade progressives who look for the demolition of our country.